Here we're going to look at a nice little number theory problem. So our goal is to answer the question, when is n squared plus 2021 n a perfect square? And here we're taking n to be a natural number. So that is a positive integer. So I'll list some solutions here when we get around to it. And the strategy that we're going to use here is a pretty common strategy when it comes to solving quadratic Diophantine equations. So let's just keep that in mind. This can be generalized very, very easily. So maybe first off, I want to notice that 2021 equals 43 times 47. So we're not going to immediately use that fact but we will definitely need the factorization of 2021 at some point in this solution. Okay, so let's notice that answering the question, when is this a perfect square, is equivalent to finding m and n, which are natural numbers, satisfying the following equation. n squared plus 2021 times n equals m squared. Okay, so next what we want to do is take this left hand side and complete the square. But we want to be careful that we complete the square and everything remains inside the natural numbers. So generally if you were to complete the square you would perhaps take half of 2021 and then square it, but then you're in the rational numbers and that's not so good here. So we can counteract that by multiplying both sides of this equation by four. So let's go ahead and do that. So multiplying both sides of the equation by four will give us four n squared plus four times 2021 times n equals four times m squared. And now we're set up to complete the square on the left hand side by adding some sort of constant. We'll do the same thing to the right hand side. So what constant will we add? Well, it'll be 2021 squared. So that gives us the equation 4n squared plus four times 2021n plus 2021 squared equals 4m squared plus 2021 squared, like that. But now this left-hand side easily factors as a binomial squared, so that's good news. So let's maybe go ahead and do that. That tells us that we have 2n plus 2021 squared equals 4m squared plus 2021 squared. And now we're in good shape because we can move all of our variables to one side of the equation and have a constant on the other side of the equation, our constant being 2021 squared. So let's maybe go ahead and do that and see what we get. That's going to give us 2n plus 2021 squared minus 4m squared equals 2021 squared, like that. But check it out, we've got a difference of squares over here on the left hand side, like capital A squared minus capital B squared, that has a nice factorization. So let's maybe factor that, see what we get. We'll have 2n plus 2m plus 2021 times 2n minus 2m plus 2021 equals 2021 squared. So next what we want to notice is that we have factored 2021 squared as the product of two natural numbers. So from this point we can set up all possible factorizations of 2021. That'll give us a system of equations to solve for n and m. Notice m is just an accessory number. So in fact, all we have to do is solve for n. Okay, let's maybe go ahead and bring this up and we'll finish it off. So on the last board, we argued that we really just need to find m and n satisfying this equation. So we've got 2n plus 2m plus 2021 times 2n minus 2m plus 2021 equals 2021 squared, where I recalled that 2021 is 43 times 47. So we factored 20... 21 squared into the product of two integers over here. So that means we can just look at all the possible factorizations for 2021 and set up some systems of equations. So let's maybe do that in a case-by-case -case basis. 
So our case number one will be factoring 2021 squared as one times 2021 squared. So what I mean by that is that one of these terms is going to be one and the other one will be 2021 squared. You might say, well, which one will be one? Well, it's pretty clear that this rightmost term is smaller than this leftmost term, given that m and n are both natural numbers. So that tells us we've got a nice system of equations, 2n minus 2m plus 2021 equals one, and then 2n plus 2m plus 2021 equals 2021 squared, like that. So next, we can eliminate m. Notice we don't really need to know the value of n, m in the end. So we can eliminate m by maybe adding these two equations. If we add these two equations, that will give us 4n plus 2 times 2021 equals 2021 squared plus 1. Again, that's from adding those two equations. But then it's not so hard to check what we get for n in this case. So it might look a little bit scary, like maybe n will be some rational number and not a natural number. But in fact, you do get a natural number here. And the natural number you get is 1020100. So let's see. That's 1,020,100. OK, so let's maybe go ahead and put that solution over here and move on to case number two. So case number two will be writing 2021 squared as 43 times 43 times 47 squared. So that's another factorization of 2021 squared. So again, we know which one is going to play the role of the smaller factor. It'll be this one on the right. So that'll give us our system of equations 2n minus 2m plus 2021 equals 43. And then we have 2n plus 2m plus 2021 equals 43 times 47 squared. Now putting that together, again, just by adding these two equations, we see that we get 4n plus 2 times 2021 equals 43 plus 43 times 47 squared. Again, it's pretty easy to solve that for n, and in this case, we get n equals 22,747. So let's put that solution over here. So 22,747. Now there are obviously a few more cases to work out, but they follow this same exact strategy. So maybe I'll leave those for homework, and you guys post what you get in the comments. And that's a good place to stop.